Hello everybody. Today is day plus 13. It's been 13 days since my stem cell transplant. And it appears that the stem cells may be grafting into my body. I've, uh, I've got a, lot of, I have a little bit of pain in my rib cage, which is a possible indication that the stem cells are making their way inside these bones and beginning to uh, produce blood products like white blood cells. And so my lab reports today indicated that my white blood cell count was at 0.5 and average is probably around 9 or 10 for a person. Or what is it, Lisa? 4 to 11. 4 to 11, my bad. I was way off. But, uh, and so I've still got a ways to go before my body begins to produce um, enough white blood cells. Um, but on, on the other side of things, uh, I've been having trouble breathing. I've been out of breath uh, lately, and uh, so they've put me on oxygen, uh, hence the thing sticking out of my nose. And uh, my oxygen saturation is about 90%. Uh, it should be around 98 to 100%, but 90% uh, isn't that bad, but it's not that good. And so there's a couple reasons uh, why the oxygen uh, saturation could be so low, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It could be a temporary thing. It might be a more permanent thing. Another thing that's happening, my teeth are basically beginning to rot it almost. I've got holes that are beginning to form at the base of my teeth, and it hurts to uh, chew food. And uh, I and and chemotherapy is very bad on your teeth. And I just had a huge dose of chemo um, about two weeks ago, and so it's probably been destro destroying my teeth. And I had an appointment to go see the dentist today, and uh, I had to cancel it because I got real sick. And I was vomiting a lot. Uh, but there's not much they can do anyway with my white blood cells being so low. Um, a positive a positive note, uh, I had a visitor last night. Uh, the molars came by. And uh, if you're from, from Ocean Springs, you probably know who the molars are. They own the, the donut shop called the Tato Nut. And they have a daughter named Sophia. And she's, I think, eight years old. And she has a brain tumor. And so she's been coming out here to get uh, therapy and treatment, uh, just as I have. And uh, they brought me a gift, a little bit of a taste from back home. Donuts, fresh mm. from the tater nuts. And I've had to keep them over here, otherwise Elisa will eat them all. <laughs> and uh, besides that, I can't think of anything else. Is there something else I should say, Elisa? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Well, it's been a rather uneventful day. Um, but if things continue going the way they are, it looks like I might get out of here in about two weeks. Um, so that's, that's all I've got for now. Uh, check back tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be able to have another video for you.